Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. I came across a clip from a movie called First Sunday and I thought we'd study part of that today. From what it says in Wikipedia, it doesn't sound like a brilliant movie. Under critical reception it says, the film received mostly negative reviews from critics. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't try studying from it. In fact, I think it could be useful to try and study from a very cheesy and predictable movie because those kinds of movies are usually very easy to understand and the characters don't really say anything out of the ordinary. So it could be a good chance to pick up some useful everyday language without having to worry about trying to understand a complicated plot. Of course, I don't know if this movie is cheesy and predictable, but I'm just saying don't write off movies as study tools just because they aren't very good. Anyway, there's a line I want to talk about from this clip. A guy says to another guy, what kind of name is Lee John anyway? If you heard someone say that, you might think that it's a genuine question from someone who's interested about the origin of a name. But what he really means is, what a stupid name. And a normal response would be something like, shut up. But the guy actually explains his name. You can use the structure in other situations too. I had a look around online to find an example and I found a forum post with the heading What kind of lame ass power is stretchy arms anyway? I don't really know what they're talking about but I assume it's some kind of fictional character who has the special power of stretchy arms. So there he's not saying please explain what kind of power stretchy arms is He's saying, I think stretchy arms is a stupid power, or a lame ass power. <laughs> Kia ora, in Stick News today, Google has decided to block UK users from watching music videos on YouTube. PRS for Music is the collecting society for songwriters, composers and music publishers in the United Kingdom. They collect money when their members' music is performed in public, broadcast or transmitted. Google has been paying PRS a fee for when people in the UK watch music videos supplied or claimed by record labels. But their license has now expired and the two parties couldn't agree on a new contract. So YouTube has announced that some music videos will be blocked in the UK. YouTube said it was a painful decision but the costs were simply prohibitive. PRS for Music said they were outraged and disappointed at Google's action. And that was Stick News for Tuesday the 10th of March. Kia ora. Um, a lot of the time beginners tend to um, sit back a lot on their skis. Um, so they quite often not have their weight far forward enough and this is where that goalkeeper position comes in is very important. Um, so people often will be, they'll be skiing along and they bend their knees but it often looks like they're sitting on the toilet so they don't have any control over their skis when they're in that position. So we have to try and get them to come forward and to really, as I said, the most important joint actually uh, uh, when we're skiing is the ankle joint. And if that's flexed, then the shin's touching the um, the collar on the boots, and then we know that we've got you know our weights nicely forward. So. Today's word is outrage. Noun: a strong feeling of shock and anger. Verb: to make somebody very shocked and angry. And the verb is often passive, as in be outraged. In today's news, PRS for Music said they were outraged at Google's action. The adjective is outrageous, so PRS for Music thinks that what Google has done is outrageous. What kind of name is Legion anyway? I don't think I would have told that. When I was born, my mother had two boyfriends, Lee and John. 
She ain't know who my real father was, so she named me Lee John. Very shocking and unacceptable. A. Delicious. B. Ferocious. C. Glorious. D. Outrageous. E. Serious. Outrageous. Highly pleasant to the taste. Delicious. Savagely fierce, cruel or violent. Ferocious. Strikingly beautiful or impressive. Glorious. Solemn or thoughtful. Serious. And that was The Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.